Well, the city of Newton Falls has received some national attention this week after a proclamation signed by the city manager declared it as a sanctuary city and offered to accept some of the statues that are being torn down across the country. This is a city that I happen to know very well, so I took a trip back to Trimble County to learn some more. Welcome to Newton Falls, Ohio. Until recently, best known for its quaint downtown, historic covered bridge, and redundant zip code. It also just happens to be my hometown. This was my house. This was my school. And this, this is new to me. But Newton Fall Lights better get used to this, and possibly many more statues. First of all, hi, thanks for having us. Good to see you, man. Appreciate it. Um, tell me a little bit about this statue. Mm -hmm. What does it represent to the city? We renamed this park Liberty Park. What stands for liberty greater than the Statue of Liberty. Where, where did this come from? This came from a former tax service in which the business closed down. So ah. this statue essentially was being used as a commercial advertisement. I see. And now it's been converted to a, uh, to a commemoration of our freedom. Well, I saw statues all across the country being toppled. So it just seemed to me that if statues of these iconic, non-controversial, but flawed individuals uh, could be brought here, we'll treat them with a, a place of respect. Why should they gather dust? This is about when the honking started. During the Civil War. It was clear many residents were eager to share their feedback with Mr. Lynch. Give some feedback over here. Yeah. Sorry. Lynch fired. Whom, to his credit, seemed to take it in stride. Right, well, that... she's, she's... There's been some response. <laughs> yes. um, directly in traffic sometimes. Yes. The city manager's proclamation names just eight statues that he says he will accept for display in the village. What made you settle on those statues as being the acceptable ones? Everybody who's in leadership is a mixed bag of good and bad. We wanted to focus on the greatness of their achievements, but I also wanted to evaluate that mixed bag. It was just trying to find those icons in which the good outweighed the bad. For the record, city manager Lynch says he won't accept Confederate statues. In fairness, um, you have Christopher Columbus on here, not only in Enslaved, but captured, kidnapped over a thousand people and enslaved them from there. Why is he okay? Well, I mean, you can ask the citizens of, Chris, of uh, Columbus, Ohio, the same question. I guess the best answer is Christopher Columbus stood in particular for the concept of courage in the face of discovery. Overall, though, you've heard feedback from the community. What's the feedback been like? Yeah, gen generally speaking. Bye. Generally speaking, it's been positive. You're developing a bit of a fan club around yes, here. Yes, certainly I am. I asked him about a popular online petition that firmly opposes his proclamation. But you understand that people are frustrated because this is all based on your personal metric and you're representing this entire village. Well, I'm charged with making decisions as part of my responsibility. And sometimes those decisions people are gonna love. Sometimes those decisions people are gonna hate. For now, my hometown remains a city quite divided and very much a part of the national conversation, whether they like it or not. I hope you get a LeBron statue here soon, because <laughs> that's what we deserve. <laughs> this is Mike Polk in the 44444 for three news. So I did talk to some people when I was down there, and not a lot of people want to go on camera, which is a very Newton Falls thing. They all have opinions, but they also don't want to be tracked. That's kind of a hometown thing. Um, but and a lot of them really were on either side of this issue. But one thing that most of them did agree on is that it's an important enough issue that maybe the voters would have preferred to have had a say in it uh, on either side. Um, but it was a nice little trip back home. I can understand that. I mean, you know, those people were shouting, you know, you don't speak for all of us. He is a representative of the city, so I think that would be something that uh, should be ha in the discussions a little bit longer, for sure. Great job on that, well, Mike. And you know, four, but four, he was four, very four, gracious. Four. He, thank you. You yeah. don't forget that. That's very kind of redundant. a nice That was our big sign. You saw that out there. We were very <laughs> proud of that. That was on most of our postcards. Everybody else sits there and goes, four, four. You know, you got to remember it. And where's work and where's home? Ugh, Not hard whatever. for me.